Hey, this is Brock Lemires, and we are continuing our study of embedded systems design. In this video, we are going to install the development environment for the MSP430 Launchpad board that we'll be using. And it is called Code Composer Studio, or CCS for short. So we are going to first go out to the Texas Instrument website, which is just ti.com, and you'll come to you know, their main page. And the easiest way to find it is just to come up and type code composer studio download in their search box. And then what they'll, it'll direct you to different links in here. And usually the first one that comes up is CCS studio integrated development environment IDE. <clears throat> come out here and you go down and it tells you features. And now we come down into the download section. So you're going to hit download and then it's going to give you some options for, uh, the type the release and it's got some read you know readme's for mac and linux and stuff it's, it's supported on all these operating systems you got to come down all the way down to here to code composer studio version 10 uh, i'm going to work on version 10 it is <clears throat> right now for me in my life it's march 20th 2020 so <laughs> as of a couple days ago they just released version 10 so we'll just go with that i'm going 64-bit uh, windows and single file offline installer. You can do on-demand web. So <clears throat> I'm just gonna go ahead and do this first one and we'll just walk through it. It's, it's a gigabyte, okay? So it's gonna take a minute to get this down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video and then I'll restart it once the zip file is installed and then we'll go through uh, installing it together. So stay tuned. Okay, so it's done. That took about 10 minutes on a relatively slow Wi-Fi. <laughs> so it's coming in as a zip. We're doing this offline one. Uh, so let's unzip it. And see what we get. Okay, so I got win 64. I'm just going to drag that on my desktop. It's a big one. It's a <clears throat> gig. Okay. Okay, so there it is. <clears throat> uh, I can go ahead and nuke my uh, zip file. And I'm suspecting this will look just like any other install. And we'll go ahead and do CCS setup. Yep, you can modify. Ooh, look at that. <clears throat> so now it's... <laughs> Something's happening. <clears throat> and in some of these steps, I'll, I'll do the same thing like I did on the download. I'll, I'll pause them if, uh, I'll pause the video if it's gonna take a while. So I can't get this, the buttons on the screen here right, for the for what I'm recording, but, uh, oh, yes I can. Let's see, so I'll, basically it's standard install. So next, <clears throat> accept the agreement, next. <clears throat> Operating system, yeah, 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 whatever. Uh, potential reboot, uh, where you're gonna install it. I just accept the accept the defaults on everything. Custom installation, uh, recommended. Uh, that's good enough for me. Okay, now it's like, oh boy, look at all this stuff. So we need to find, we just want MSP430 ultra low power MCUs. All this other stuff is awesome, <clears throat> but it's, it's just for different products that TI makes. And so all I want is the MSP430 ultra yeah, just that, MSP430. And then it's gonna say, you want some debug probes? Absolutely, I do. Setup is now ready. And I'm gonna go ahead and say next. Okay, so it's preparing to install. And I realize you can't see this entire window. I have the, the size of my recording area in here. And now this is just gonna go for a while. <clears throat> And what I'll do is when it starts doing this stuff, I'll pause the video and then come back once it's done so I don't waste time. Okay, so it took about 10 minutes, but it's <clears throat> it finally got through the, uh, the main bar here. And now it's just kind of cruising along on this stuff right here. So it is still installing. It's a big file, so a big program. So I'll pause it and check back. Well, let's, let's hang on. Is it doing anything now? Win installer. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay, so it installed. It did. It took 10, 15 minutes to <laughs> install that, <clears throat> and it's going to need a reboot. So what I'm going to do is reboot my computer, and then we'll pick up after that. So I'm going to next when I unpause the video or restart the video, uh, it'll be installed apparently. So here we go. Okay, it's going to. It's asking me to create desktop. That sounds good to me. And if I look down here, I just hit the finish button. And life is good. So let's uh, reboot. Okay, I've rebooted my computer and I do have a shortcut on my desktop now. I can go ahead and delete the install folder that was on my <laughs> desktop. Before we launch Code, Co Code Composer though, uh, let's plug in the MSP430 <clears throat> because the first time you do it, you're gonna have to install the drivers. Uh, and it's usually a good idea to do the drivers, the USB drivers before you launch the software for the first time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here with this cable that they provided me and plug it into the little USB port right there and on the launch pad. Go in, just rotate it. And then I'll plug that into my computer. Which is super easy. There you go. <laughs> okay, so you see <clears throat> it lights up, and if this is the first time you plug it in, you'll get the USB driver uh, notes. But anyway, so now it's in there. So let's launch Code Composer and see what happens and just take a look, make sure it comes up, and then that'll be the end of this. So it comes up, kind of a cool little uh, splash window there, Code Composer Studio version 10. Again, this doesn't need a license. It's provided by Texas Instruments because <clears throat> they want you to use their microcontrollers uh, so they want to provide you with the tools to develop and so it and honestly it takes a long time to, to load this much longer than any other software so just it's this is normal for it to sit here for 30 seconds while it comes up <clears throat> okay. okay now a big decision you are going to create a workspace. And this workspace is gonna be where all of your projects are gonna go. The default is gonna be in your user's directory. Now, that's a decision for you to make because if you wanna access uh, these files from different computers, you might wanna put it somewhere like on a network drive. <clears throat> so you're gonna, this is, you know, it's time to think about this. I'm gonna leave mine here. Uh, just because this is my main computer and so if I can I can move this later but just remember this is going to be where all of your stuff uh, is going to go so I'm going to use this default and don't ask again and, and this is all your projects will be in here and so I'm going to launch Code Composer and see what happens so again <laughs> here's the the uh, cool looking splash screen here And yes, it, it takes a long time. Okay, <clears throat> there is it. We got it. It finally came up. So here it is. It's still taking a while. So allow access. I mean, it is a monster. <laughs> and it's got a getting started screen, and we'll just let it load. <clears throat> it's loading a video. Would you like to use it? First, let's get this in simple mode. Holy moly. <clears throat> okay, so it's got this startup screen. Hopefully we can get rid of that and never have it come back. Uh, I mean, it's still loading. I, th I think this will go faster the next time that you run it. <laughs> but anyway, there it is. Uh, let me stop that. And there's Code Composer. It doesn't look really cool right now, but wait till we start a project. Okay, so it's still loading. It is, it's still loading stuff. This is unreal. So anyway, it, it works, it's installed, and now the next part is to actually develop a program, which we'll do in a different video. Okay, so that's it for now. Uh, remember, subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on all the latest videos.